Hi guys, um, I thought I'd make a, a short video, uh, well actually probably won't end up being so short, uh, about the uh, server, the forum server and, and what's going on there and, and why we're doing it. I got the new uh, modem router yesterday and I was just about to plug it in and set it all up and I thought well I might as well do a, a short unboxing video for YouTube. Um, I couldn't find much information out on the, on the router that we've Bought. So uh, the issues were um, that we use Mediafire to store uh, a lot of the files for the forum and uh, whilst that's worked pretty well for the last couple of years uh, it is out of my control to a certain extent if any problems occur with Mediafire uh, well we're all stuck because that's where all the files are, are stored. Um, just recently, a couple of times, uh, the Internet Watch Foundation have uh, highlighted some files that shouldn't be on Mediafire, and uh, the ISPs in the UK have uh, either partially blocked Mediafire uh, or fully blocked it, and it's really caused a lot of problems for me and members uh, who haven't been able to I haven't been able to access my Mediafire account properly. Um, certain members, or the majority of members, haven't been able to download the files correctly. Some have. It depends on the response from the uh, the individual ISPs. Um, the last time it happened was kind of the final straw, really. And I thought we've got to try and uh, bring all of these files in house somehow. Um, so I thought I would try and set up a home server. Uh, we're lucky here that we've got just had the uh, BT Infinity uh, installed and um, I think we get about uh, 70 to 80 download and 20 up so it's it's pretty good and I'm, I, I think uh, it would be ideal for serving the, the files uh, to the forum members. Um, I built a small server from bits and pieces I had lying around. Uh, I used Ubuntu Linux, uh, a Mahi and um, an open VLS uh, package. Uh, unfortunately, it, whilst it all worked perfectly, the one requirement was that I um, port forwarded, I can't remember what the port was, but you know, 1576 say, um, and having gone into the uh, router software, uh, despite forwarding the correct ports, the router just wouldn't open them. And then researching it with the, with, on the BT forums proved that this seems to be a, an issue for all different uh, people that have got these pieces of junk. I had the, um, the Type A uh, Home Hub 3 and I thought I'd speak to BT and they sent me the Type B home hub if you can see that. Uh, I hoped that, that might solve the problem but of course it didn't. So great idea. <laughs> Rubbish hub. That's the modem, that's the router, go together. So the only choice was to replace either the router or the whole the whole thing. Having looked around it seems like the Netgear uh, R6300 was uh, the one to get. It's about £200, um, but when I was looking around a couple of days ago I came across uh, a Draytech product that uh, seemed to do more things and one of the features that it's got is exactly what I needed, uh, or so it would appear. So we are ditching that lot and moving over to Draytech, it's a Vigor, Vigor um, 2750. This particular one is the uh, VN version. Uh, yes, the 2750 VN. Uh, it's a VDSL2 router, so that replaces both of the uh, the other boxes. Um, just get it open. See what we've got in there. Quick start guide. <clears throat> yeah, not much in there, I don't think. <laughs> I suspect the online manual that's got 270 pages 
will be the thing that I should be referring to most of the time, but at least there is a quick start guide. Uh, there is a uh, leaflet about website restrictions for children or employees, Vigor Care, uh, which is a, oh, an extra warranty. It's got a two year warranty anyway. Uh, oh, now, one of the features of this particular router is it has VOIP, so you can in fact plug in uh, to telephones to make low cost or free calls over the, uh, over the internet. I'm not sure I'll use it, but you never know, it's, it's nice to have that feature there. This looks like a voucher, uh, yes it's a voucher, gives you £2 worth of calling credit and your own unique 0843 number in the UK um, and you can also get an 0870 number plus yeah so yeah might use that uh, don't know nice feature to have oh that's clever wall mounting holes pre-drilled in the <laughs> in the carton for marking on the wall the main unit. Uh, we, got? we have uh, the uh, RJ lead to the, um, to the uh, BT socket. Nice LAN cable with actually it's got metal shielding at the end so that looks like a high quality cable. Uh, two phone connection sockets that go in the back of this for the VOIP I would think. And raw plugs and screws for the wall mounting. A base, this can obviously be wall mounted and uh, stand alone. That. We have three antennas, and I believe one is a screw into the, the top. Let's look at that in a while. We have a mains power adapter. Let's have a look. Hon Quang, that is 12 volt, 0 to 2.5 amp, and it says in brackets set at 2 amp. That's interesting, I've never seen that written on a, a transformer before. So, yep. Yeah. What else have we got? Oh, is that a thick user guy? No, it's not, is it? It's a calendar. <laughs> <laughs> so they've included a what looks like a yeah, desktop calendar. Oh, that's 2012, 2013. Looks quite nice. Alright, 2012, January. So obviously covers two years. August 2012, there we go. Oh, very handy. Not seen anything like that included in a, a product before. I should probably use that here in the uh, in the office. Uh, what else? Just the documentation and utilities uh, CD-ROM. And a product catalogue guide. Right, let's have a look at this uh, thing. As I said before, this just is going to replace the uh, the modem and the home hub router. Also, we can get rid of one of the power suppliers that's stuck in the wall at the moment. Please read before unpacking. Technical guys and UK firmware updates, please visit support.traytech.co.uk. So it's nice to see a proper UK uh, support address. Bits of protection. 
actually very light. I was expecting it maybe to be a little bit heavier than that. Um, underneath here we have uh, a couple of things. There is the two, this phone one and phone two. That's where the cables, these will uh, plug in. Uh, we have the power, adapter socket and an on off switch there. That feels of quite nice quality as well actually. This was £207 delivered so you know hopefully it is fairly well made. On, uh, on this end uh, we've got a WPS button and I'm assuming that's probably to turn the wireless on and off. I can't think what else WPS is, but we'll have a look at the instructions later. Right, on this end, we... Oh, no, hang on. Wireless LAN on off there. Oh, I don't know. We'll have to read the, read the book for that one. But on here, you have got your DSL connection. Uh, one, two, three, four uh, gigabit LANs. And this is the, the really good bit that caught my eye you have two USB sockets. Now having read the uh, online uh, description of this, you can use these to connect a 3G dongle. Um, so if your own broadband ever fell over, this can take over using a 3G connection, uh, which may well be handy, especially if you've got this connected to a UPS. Um, so you've got 24-7 uptime. Uh, you can also connect a USB uh, memory stick or, and this was the thing, you can connect a USB hard drive. Um, now I found a, a USB RAID enclosure that will take two hard drives. Uh, it's either RAID 0 or RAID 1. Um, I'll probably use RAID 1 and just have two discs in there that are exactly the same and if one ever goes down we can just pop a new one in and it will rebuild the new hard drive. Um, RAID 5 perhaps is, is better but really I think for our purpose it, it's, it's a bit over the top. Um, so I think we'll go with the two hard drive RAID 1 option. Uh, I'll probably back it up also to another uh, external hard drive and uh, for, for our purposes which is really just to serve um, files from the forum uh, as and when required uh, that will do just fine. Um, now the other thing that you can do with this is uh, you can set up individual usernames and passwords uh, to give access to the external USB hard drives which again, for my purpose, is absolutely perfect. Um, I'm not sure if there's a limit to how many uh, users you can create. I can't imagine there would be. That wouldn't make any sense uh, to me. Of course, the, the one thing that you will need to do is uh, you have to sign up uh, for a dynamic a DNS uh, service. Um, the reason for that is because this, I don't have a fixed IP address. Um, BT, I mean some some ISPs, the ISP, the IP address will change every time you you know log on to the internet. Uh, other times it will change only when the uh, the router is rebooted. Uh, I'm, I'm sure there's other people more more knowledgeable on that side of things than me, but that's my understanding of of how that works. The problem is, let's say you wanted to go and get a file from, from my hard drive, uh, if you typed in, I don't know, television magazine's uh, files.co.uk, uh, that wouldn't go to here if the IP address had changed. So you set up a, a dynamic DNS and what that does is you can assign a domain name to that service and then that service chats to this and every time the IP address is changed by BT this updates uh, that information to the, the dynamic DNS service and uh, that propagates throughout their servers and then every time somebody types in 
uh, you know, to go, to, to go to the server, uh, .co.uk, whatever that ends up being, it will automatically go to this and then they would be able to use their username and password to, um, uh, to log in and access the files. And I can also set read and write uh, permissions per user. Just showing you the various things there. Seems to be a light for just about everything. Uh, yeah, so that's, uh, that's the idea behind this. There wouldn't be any port forwarding, well, not much to worry about uh, if this works as, uh, as, as suggested. Um, if it doesn't and I can get the port forwarding working, which I'm sure I can, then we can just go back to the original idea of having a just a normal server and um, you know, using it that way. But I, I suspect this will do exactly what it says on the, on the box. Uh, there's an awful lot of options uh, on here, and it's also IPv6 uh, uh, compatible, so when that eventually comes out, this will still work. So it might actually still be in use when the warrant is expired in two years' time. Uh, I'm not going to go all through this, there's just a whole load of stuff, and half of it I don't understand anyway, so there's no point in me kidding myself that I do. Um, but uh, from what I've read, it will definitely do. Uh, what I need it to do, and that's the uh, that's the main thing. The uh, aerials just screw into these very nice gold plated uh, plugs. far off what they're showing on the box is it I'm sure there's some uh, pattern that works best now this is a um, uh, dual uh, dual band uh, wireless router uh, it's 2.4 and 5g uh, but not together some of the, the newer routers give a better coverage if they use both together but this does not do that uh, in my case, the wireless side of it is not important. Uh, there's only a couple of devices, uh, like the iPad and iPod, that I use wirelessly. The rest is uh, the rest is connected with the uh, local area network cables, uh, so no real issues with uh, with the wireless. But it'd be interesting to see the range that we do uh, do achieve with this. Um, and I guess you don't really want this sat right next to you at your workbench um, so I should be mounting this inside um, probably have it standing on its base rather than wall mounting it but yeah I wouldn't want this just here on the wall and be working in front of that all day long I know some people are quite sensitive to uh, this type of thing it can cause headaches and all sorts of uh, issues so yeah I guess placement is uh, something to watch out for um, so yeah that's it really um, I'm going to go and plug this in now and see if we can just get the basic broadband connection up and running um, in uh, in the case of BT Infinity customers all you have to do is uh, type in the, the, the BT address and it, it's something like BT Home Hub at BT something dot com I've got it written down inside uh, you don't need a password uh, I know some routers don't like having the password left blank um, but uh, the other way around that is just to put a space in so don't leave it blank just put a just go into the password field press space uh, and that should probably do it and I suspect this will be fine with uh, an empty password so we'll get it working on uh, normal broadband and perhaps over the weekend I'll start messing around with uh, an external hard drive and see uh, see whether we can access it. Obviously I've got to sign up for the dynamic DNS uh, feature. Um, the one, the, the, I think there's five or six listed that this router is already pre-configured for 
and one seems to be the most popular, which is uh, Dyn DNS, D Y N DNS. I think it's either dot org or dot com, but uh, I'll update you with that when it's all up and running. Uh, but as I say, it's all pre configured for five or six different dynamic DNS uh, services. So hopefully, if we're lucky, this will all go to plan and uh, we'll be able to serve the files to the forum members directly from this. I don't think we'll stop uh, using Mediafire just because of this. I, I think we might just use this as an option. You know, if somebody wants to just log in and download from here, great. If if they want, they can just carry on clicking on the on the Mediafire links. But it will be really nice just to have a backup that I'm actually in control of. So uh, yeah, that's about it. Um, can't think of what else to tell you about this. The features are ridiculous. You know, it's just feature packed. Um, the manual is 270 odd pages. Uh, and all in English, uh, so you'd have to have a good look at that. But what I think we're doing here is fairly straightforward, so I don't think we'll run into any problems. So yeah, impressed with the packaging, um, impressed with the build quality of this so far. Um, nice to see a good quality lead included. So I shall go and plug all this in and uh, see if we can get the broadband working. I'll, uh, I'll get this video um, uploaded later on hopefully and uh, we'll speak to you soon. Thanks a lot.